It's my birthday, y'all, and thank you for tuning into the channel. A while back, I went to a real estate tax auction and I met a gentleman there. And this message today is going to be my birthday message to you in having to deal with the ideas, philosophies, and attitudes of the people in our community, the successful people. Check this out. I'm going to tell, tell you one thing. You know what South Africa is? I know. I've been there. You know I've never been there. Do you know, do you know where the, the South African government owns the diamond mines there, the big diamond mines? I've been there. Do you know who owned that? I just, well, when I was there, it was the, the De Beers. Or the you know De Beers. how they got it? He took, put his shoe on there and took a knife, so I thought we're going to kill all y'all unless you leave. They got it for nothing. Oh, wow. I, I can write a book on my history. <laughs> you ever heard of the Marshall Plan? Mm -hmm. After World War II? We had 40 ships run out of Port of Invocation, my family. We got a great family, fantastic, okay? Fantastic history. So let's get into some of the ways that we can be still be successful even in the face of adversity, having to deal with that mess, all right? Let's go. <laughs> Greetings, class. This is Chris Haskins with TheRealEstateRoundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. So the gentleman you just saw was a real estate buyer and investor in my area here in Hampton Roads. And that attitude and mindset, in my opinion, is one of the reasons, one of the strong reasons that it's so hard to be successful in, in this business and just to be an entrepreneur in general. How are you going to smile at just your, your forefathers slitting somebody's through? You know, so that's the stuff you're going to have to deal with. So in this video today, now that I'm turning 45 roundup, I just want to share with you some of the things that helped me get here and put you in the mindset for success, okay, to be a successful real estate investor and entrepreneur. So I got three things here. I want you to understand and accept the fact. Oh, yeah, before I get into the meat, I'm giving away uh, two free one-year subscriptions to PropStream. PropStream is the real estate software that we use that to pull data, mortgage information, seller information, skip trace phone numbers, uh, pre -for to find pre-foreclosures, vacant houses, liens, tax liens and stuff like that, you will need some type of data software to pull so you can locate these, these sellers and, and actually transact business throughout the country. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can be in the bucket and be in the, the drawing for those two free one-year subscriptions, okay? That's going to save you $1,200, right? Because it's $97 a month to, to subscribe to, 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 uh, to PropStream, okay? So... It's going to be a cool, a cool giveaway. We do so much business with them. They contacted me to give, to give this stuff away. So what I want, number one, I got three things. Number one, I want you to understand that, yes, there are some hidden forces that will be working against you. That gentleman was talking with a smile. He had no remorse, no type of attitude of reparations to repair the people that his forefathers had murdered, raped and pillaged back in the day in South Africa. Right. Uh, so there are going to be some un some hidden forces working against you to keep you down, all right? And the problem is, these hidden forces are not fair. The attitudes of some people, right? So knowing that, listen, I got all this, I've got a wealth, my family has a wealth history. No, mine doesn't, mine doesn't. My family comes from nothing, right? So in, in, in order for you to just to realize, the enemy has uh, stacked the deck against you, right? <clears throat> You're fighting an uphill battle. Now, sure, uh, there are some sex, some success stories out here where someone did it 30 days or a year and they created tremendous amounts of wealth. But I want you to know this is going to be an uphill battle for you. It is challenging to be successful. There are so many, not, not, we didn't even talk about the seen issues. I'm talking about the unseen stuff you can't see, hidden forces working against you, people with unlimited budgets that can go out there and buy and invest to put you out of business okay so for you you have to have the you have to be vigilant when you're out there in the, in the marketplace treating people with respect and knowing that listen not everybody has your best interest in mind matter of fact they want to slit your throat right it's not fair and I, what's crazy is I didn't say that I, I'm just listening to the man say it right 
My family slit their throats. Number two, your attitudes and beliefs of others, they can hurt you. These attitudes and beliefs of others can hurt you. How is that? Here's the thing, when you're at an auction, you don't even know if the buyers that you're bidding against, you don't even know if they're in business or they have some type of conspiracy going on with the auctioneers. You just don't know, right? So when you're out here doing business, keep all that stuff in mind. Does this person have my best interest at heart? Are they trying to, to, to shut me down? There's an attitude out there or an air in our society, and it's from top down, from the highest position of government down to the slums and the ghettos. The attitude is, this is for me, not for you. I can do this, but you can't. I remember the first time that I really saw that, I was a, I was the vice president for my local RIA, right? And they were showing me some of the tricks of the trades, things that they do on the backside, back office, and I started doing them, and I was uh, experiencing some success. And then next thing I know, they wanted me to step down, and then I got a notice that, Chris, you can't do this stuff. And I'm like, hold on, guys. I learned this from watching you. This is exactly how you do it. This is how we do it. No, we can do that, but you can't, okay? So there's just an attitude, and you. this is, once again, it's not fair. You got to deal with it. So keep that in mind when you're out there transacting business. Some things people are going to look at that you do may not be something that's legitimate that for you to do, but it's good for them to do, okay? It's a, I don't understand it. These are the powers that be. Not saying this is going to be nice or fair. You got to deal with it if you want to be successful entrepreneur, right? And the last one I want you to know and realize and accept the fact that being successful in your business, real estate investing or any type of entrepreneurial venture that you're going in is going to be the hardest thing that you've ever done in your life. One thing that I realized is that it is hard to be a loser and it is hard to be a winner, right? Pick your heart. The, the good thing about being a winner is you get a lot of stuff that comes with it. But being a loser where you don't get out there and, and even try, nothing comes with that but failure, right? And I'm not saying that you won't fail being an entrepreneur because you will but it is extremely hard to get over the, I'm calling them hurdles now, in order for you to be successful. Every day, punishment, discipline, getting up early in the morning, just challenging to do. So keep in mind when you're experiencing some losses, how many people contact me, oh Chris, this happened to me, I had this happen, this person did this, this homeowner did that, the investor didn't want to do this. It's part of the journey, it's part of the journey. And one thing that I regret round up not enjoying my journey, the ride. Here at this part of my life where I am experiencing the phenomenon, that is where we are having more increase over the last 12 months than I've seen in the last five years. I'm experiencing this phenomenon. I look back and I, I didn't enjoy the ride and I don't want that for you. One thing that I wish I would have enjoyed more was the unknown of whether I'm gonna be successful or not. It is so exhilarating, so just so much adrenaline. like. You know you can work your entire life and have nothing to show for it. I don't want that to be you. This is why I'm making this video on my 45th birthday. This is like a one-on-one -on -one thing. I'm going to do more for this because there just aren't enough, enough role models out here sharing the truth with you about how hard this thing is to be successful. Entrepreneurship is challenging. It is the toughest thing in the world to get people to give you money, right? It's next to... Uh, it's, it's, it's up there with getting a young lady to go out on a date with you and uh, experiencing some type of intimacy, I've read, okay? <laughs> all right, so finally, what can we do to overcome this? What can we do to overcome all the injustices, uh, the problems that are going on in our society that have been going on for hundreds of years? Atrocities, oh my goodness. What can we do? What can we do? Keep in mind that nobody can stop your grind. Nobody can tell you when to get up in the morning. Nobody can tell you when to go to bed. Now yes, we do have to get some rest in our lives, but if you are addicted to sleep, you ain't gonna make it. Round up. No one can tell you how hard to work. Just can't do it. It's not in the game. So if you have to sacrifice eight, 10, 11, 12 hours for another man at a, at a job, he can't tell you what to do when you get home. He just can't, right? So you will have to put in some extra hours to be successful. I am past the, the, the earning stage. I mean, we still look to earn, but we're in the management, one of the management phases of my life, and I still have to work 
five o'clock in the morning to ten. I'm I'm grinding. Here now I'm home here with daddy daycare, three kids, wife here. We're trying to make sure we stay uh, stay safe. But round up, no one can tell you how to, how hard to work and with the level of integrity to work. People contact us every day for business opportunities because I told myself I will treat people and business opportunities and other people's money with the utmost respect. I will treat them with integrity, honesty, empathy, and compassion. Every opportunity that, opportunity that comes across my desk. And I'm saying this to you because I truly believe that we don't have enough role models in our community. So I am gonna start doing more videos like this, this one-on-one, -on -one, you and me, because I think you need to hear it, okay? I'm looking back on my 45 years. I didn't figure it out till I was about 42, all right? So I wanna shorten your learning curve because I love you, all right? You can see kids, they got that mess playing. Good Lord, pray for me. Listen, Roundup, subscribe to the channel. Like this content, share with any other, uh, any other friends or family that you have are interested in being entrepreneurs. We got some forces we're working against, but the way to combat that is they can't stop your grind, right? Listen, I love you. Make sure you subscribe for the prop stream, the giveaway that's coming. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.